Okay, we're doing the tibialis posterior muscle right now. We're going to be doing manual therapy and stretching of the muscle. Now, we know this muscle attaches laterally towards the fibula, the proximal fibula, and also the proximal tibia. And this muscle runs deep to the gastrocnemius, and it traverses the ankle, crosses, and comes out medially, which is slightly post, comes out slightly posterior to the medial malleolus. It continues to traverse and attaches to the plantar section of the foot, uh, metatarsal heads two through four. Now, when this, this muscle is posterior, what this muscle is going to do is it's going to plantar flex the foot. And it's also going to invert, plantar flex inversion. Now, what we have to do to do the tissue work, we have to first find the tendon. And to find the tendon is, what we do is we take the foot in the slight inversion and plantar flexion, and we can see the tendon traversing. Now, starting at the attachment site, what we can do is we can use a thenar contact. We can start, we can run along the tendon, run posterior to the medial malleolus. And you're going to find a gap, a fossa. This fossa is, lies in between the lateral portion of the tibia and also the Achilles tendon. The fossa is just an inlet. And what we can do is there is that's our access to the tibialis posterior. And right on. Now, the further up, the further up we get, the more we have to deal with the soleus and the gastrocnemius. So we have a limitation of access to this muscle. So to stretch this muscle, since we do know it's a posterior muscle and it's going to plantar flex, what we're going to do is we're going to dorsiflex this muscle and we're going to take it into, some, into eversion. And that's going to stretch the tibialis posterior muscle. Huh.